Title, Forgotten Whispers, The Haunting of Hollow Grove. Chapter 1, The Allure of Hollow Grove. Emily's curiosity had always been her driving force. As a journalist, she thrived on uncovering the truth behind urban legends and mysterious tales. When she heard whispers of the haunting hollow grove, she couldn't resist delving deeper. The abandoned theme park had long been shrouded in rumors of disappearances and supernatural occurrences. One evening, while poring over old articles and forums about Hollow Grove, Emily stumbled upon a mention of Henry. He was a former employee of the park, known for his expertise in animatronic technology. Intrigued, she reached out to him, hoping that his first-hand experience could provide valuable insights into the park's dark history. Henry, however, was initially hesitant. Memories of his time at Hollow Grove were still fresh in his mind, haunting him in his sleep. The mere thought of returning to the dilapidated park sent shivers down his spine, but Emily's persistence and genuine enthusiasm for uncovering the truth finally persuaded him to join her on this unsettling journey. Together, Emily and Henry embarked on their expedition to Hollow Grove. The park stood as a forgotten relic in the heart of a dense forest, its rusted roller coasters and crumbling food stalls a stark reminder of its former glory. As they walked along the decaying walkways, the atmosphere became increasingly eerie, a palpable sense of desolation hanging in the air. Emily's excitement mixed with trepidation as they explored the remnants of Hollow Grove. Overgrown vegetation and broken animatronics added to the haunting ambience. The once vibrant park now seemed frozen in time, frozen in a state of eternal decay. So this is Hollow Grove, Emily remarked, her voice barely above a whisper. It's even more chilling than I imagined. Henry glanced around, his gaze lingering on the twisted animatronics. I never thought I'd set foot in this place again. The memories? They're hard to shake off. As they ventured further, Emily couldn't help but ask, What exactly happened here, Henry? The rumors are wild, but there must be some truth to them. Henry sighed, his voice tinged with a mixture of sorrow and fear. Hollow Grove was a place of joy and laughter once, but it all changed one night. There were whispers of strange happenings, mysterious disappearances that couldn't be explained. The park's closure came suddenly, and no one ever really understood why. It's a chapter of my life that I've tried to forget. Emily nodded, her determination unwavering. We're here to shed light on what happened, to uncover the truth buried beneath these decaying attractions. I believe there's more to Hollow Grove than meets the eye. Henry offered a faint smile, appreciating Emily's resolute spirit. You remind me of a younger version of myself, full of curiosity and tenacity. Just promise me we'll be careful. There's something dark lurking in this place, something that should remain forgotten. Emily nodded, her eyes gleaming with anticipation. I promise, Henry. We'll tread cautiously, but we won't let fear stop us from revealing the forgotten whispers of Hollow Grove. With their resolve firmly in place, Emily and Henry continued their exploration unaware of the chilling revelations and terrors that awaited them within the desolate park. Chapter 2. Samuel's Discovery As Emily and Henry delved deeper into their investigation of Hollow Grove, news of their endeavor reached the ears of Samuel, a young local historian with an insatiable fascination for the supernatural. Samuel had dedicated countless hours to researching the park's history, poring over dusty archives and interviewing those who had once worked at Hollow Grove. One fateful evening, while engrossed in his research, Samuel stumbled upon an article about Emily's investigation into Hollow Grove. The synchronicity of their interests piqued his curiosity, and he felt an unexplainable urge to join their quest for the truth. Tracking down Emily and Henry proved to be a challenge, but Samuel's determination led him to the entrance of the abandoned park. There, amidst the overgrown foliage, he finally found his newfound companions. Emily and Henry regarded Samuel with a mix of surprise and skepticism as he approached. You must be Samuel, Emily said, extending her hand in greeting. We've heard about your research on Hollow Grove. It's fascinating. Samuel's eyes sparkled with excitement as he shook Emily's hand. Likewise, I've been studying this place for years, but your investigation has taken it to a whole new level. I couldn't resist joining forces and sharing my findings. Henry studied Samuel, his curiosity evident. So, what have you discovered about Hollow Grove? Any insights into its dark past? Samuel's enthusiasm brimmed as he reached into his bag and pulled out a stack of old newspapers and documents. Hollow Grove is no ordinary theme park. 
It was built upon an ancient burial ground dating back centuries. The land holds a deep, dark history. Emily's eyes widened with intrigue. An ancient burial ground? That explains the lingering presence and the whispers of something supernatural. Samuel nodded fervently. Exactly. There have been reports of unexplained disappearances throughout the years, but the true extent of those incidents was often obscured. Hollowgrove's closure was never fully explained, and that's where our investigation comes in. Henry's brow furrowed as he absorbed Samuel's words. The disappearances, they were more than just accidents, weren't they? There's something malevolent at play. Samuel nodded solemnly. Yes, the disappearances were linked to the ancient burial ground. It seems that the spirits of those laid to rest here were disturbed, their unrest manifesting in dark and terrifying ways. The park's closure was a desperate attempt to contain the malevolent force. Emily took a deep breath, the weight of the park's dark history settling upon her. We need to continue digging, Samuel. Together we might just uncover the truth behind the haunting of Hollow Grove. Samuel grinned, a spark of determination igniting in his eyes. Absolutely. With your investigative skills, Henry's first-hand knowledge, and my research, we have a chance to shed light on the secrets this place holds. The trio exchanged glances, united in their pursuit of truth. Hollow Grove had become more than just a haunting tale. It was an enigma they were determined to unravel. Armed with newfound knowledge and an unyielding curiosity, they set forth into the heart of the park, ready to face the horrors that awaited them. Chapter 3 Charlotte's Call As Emily, Henry, and Samuel ventured deeper into Hollow Grove, their exploration took an unexpected turn. Unbeknownst to them, a troubled teenager named Charlotte had been drawn to the park by an otherworldly presence, a force she couldn't resist or explain. Charlotte had been plagued by haunting nightmares and unexplained visions for as long as she could remember. Night after night she found herself in the company of animatronic figures, their eyes glowing with an eerie light. These visions led her to Hollow Grove as if an invisible hand guided her steps. On a misty evening, as Emily, Henry, and Samuel pushed forward into the heart of the park, they stumbled upon Charlotte, standing amidst the dilapidated attractions. Her eyes were wide with a mix of fear and fascination as she gazed at the twisted animatronics surrounding her. Emily approached Charlotte cautiously, her voice gentle. Are you all right? What brings you to Hollow Grove? Charlotte's voice quivered as she spoke. I, I don't know. There's something here. It calls to me, compels me to be here. I've been having these visions, nightmares even, about these animatronics. And now, now I'm here. Henry studied Charlotte intently, a mix of concern and curiosity etched on his face. You have a connection to these animatronics? How is that possible? Charlotte nodded, her voice barely above a whisper. I can't explain it. It's like they're a part of me and I'm a part of them. But it's not something I asked for or understand. Samuel's eyes widened with realization. Could it be that the malevolent force that haunts Hollow Grove is somehow linked to Charlotte? That she holds the key to unraveling the park's dark secrets? Emily exchanged a meaningful glance with her newfound companions. Perhaps Charlotte's presence here is more than mere coincidence. If she has a connection to the animatronics and these visions, she might just be the missing piece we've been searching for. Charlotte's voice trembled with uncertainty. I don't know if I can handle this, these nightmares. They're terrifying, and yet... I'm inexplicably drawn to them. Maybe I can help, but I'm scared. Emily reached out, placing a reassuring hand on Charlotte's shoulder. We're all scared, Charlotte, but together we can face these terrors head on. We'll do whatever it takes to uncover the truth and bring an end to the haunting of Hollow Grove. A glimmer of hope flickered in Charlotte's eyes as she looked at her newfound companions. Okay, okay, let's do this. If there's any chance of finding answers, of stopping whatever is haunting this place, I'm in. With Charlotte now a part of their group, Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte ventured further into Hollow Grove. Their determination bolstered by the enigmatic connection Charlotte had with the animatronics. Little did they know the depths of darkness that awaited them and the role Charlotte would play in the unravelling of Hollow Grove's secrets. Chapter 4 Encounters with the Twisted As Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte delved deeper into Hollow Grove, their footsteps echoed through the decaying walkways. The air grew heavier, laden with an otherworldly presence that seemed to intensify with every step. 
It didn't take long before they encountered their first twisted animatronic, its broken form lurking in the shadows. Its eyes glowed with an unnatural gleam, and its movements were erratic and unsettling. Emily's heart raced as she cautiously approached the animatronic. What do we do? How do we handle this? Henry, drawing upon his past experience, took a step forward. Remember, these animatronics are different from the ones we know. They're twisted and corrupted by the malevolent force. We need to outsmart them. The animatronic suddenly lunged forward, its jagged metal claws reaching out. Samuel, quick on his feet, managed to evade the attack, guiding Emily and Charlotte to safety. We can't let them get too close, Samuel warned, his voice filled with urgency. We need to use our wits, find their weaknesses, and exploit them. Together the group worked in harmony. Henry used his expertise in animatronic technology to analyze the twisted creature's movements, identifying patterns that could be exploited. Emily, armed with her quick thinking, distracted the animatronic, allowing Samuel and Charlotte to search for potential vulnerabilities. I found something, Charlotte exclaimed, her voice a mixture of fear and excitement. Look, there's a malfunctioning circuit in its torso. If we disable it, we might be able to neutralize the threat. With Charlotte's guidance, the group sprang into action. Henry skillfully maneuvered his tools, carefully disabling the malfunctioning circuit. As the animatronic sputtered and jerked, its movements grew sluggish until it finally ceased, its glowing eyes fading into darkness. A collective sigh of relief washed over the group, their hearts pounding with adrenaline. They had successfully overcome their first encounter with a twisted animatronic, but they knew there was no time to rest. There were more challenges to face. As they ventured deeper into Hollow Grove, the encounters with the twisted animatronics became increasingly terrifying. Each one possessed a unique personality and method of haunting. One was cunning and stealthy, lurking in the shadows and striking when least expected. Another was relentless and aggressive, chasing the group through the decaying attractions. Despite the mounting fear and tension, Emily, Henry, Samuel, and Charlotte refused to succumb to despair. They relied on each other's strengths and unwavering determination to navigate the perilous obstacles presented by the twisted animatronics. I never thought I'd be running for my life from animatronics, Emily exclaimed, her voice filled with a mix of exhilaration and fear. Henry chuckled grimly. Life has a way of surprising us, doesn't it? But together we can outsmart them. We've already proven that. As the group continued their harrowing journey through Hollow Grove, they discovered that each twisted animatronic held a clue to the park's dark secrets. Each encounter unraveled a piece of the puzzle, further fueling their determination to push forward and confront the malevolent force that lurked within the heart of the park. Chapter 5 Unearthing the Dark Past Emily, Henry, Samuel, and Charlotte pressed on, driven by their collective determination to uncover the truth behind Hollow Grove's haunting. The hidden room they had discovered held the promise of unveiling the park's darkest secrets, and they were eager to explore its depths. As they entered the hidden room, beams of light pierced through the dusty air, revealing a treasure trove of old documents, faded photographs, and artifacts that spoke of the park's twisted history. The group gathered around a large table, their eyes fixated on the chilling discoveries before them. Emily's voice trembled with a mix of anticipation and dread. These documents. They must hold the key to understanding what happened here. Let's dig in and see what we find. The group began sifting through the fragile pages, the sound of rustling paper punctuated by gasps and murmurs of disbelief. They discovered a journal belonging to the park's previous owner, a man consumed by grief and obsession. Henry's eyes widened as he read aloud from the journal. His daughter, she passed away, and he couldn't bear the loss. He became fixated on bringing her back to life by any means necessary. Samuel leaned closer, his voice filled with awe and horror. He turned to dark rituals, merging animatronic technology with ancient incantations, hoping to bridge the gap between life and death. Emily's hand trembled as she turned another page, her voice thick with emotion. He didn't realize the consequences of his actions— the rituals unleashed a malevolent force, corrupting the animatronics and driving the park into darkness. The group's collective gaze shifted toward Charlotte, who had been unusually quiet, her eyes filled with a mixture of confusion and realization. Charlotte spoke hesitantly, her voice barely audible. I think, I think the previous owner's daughter is somehow connected to me. It explains the visions, the nightmares. 
I can feel her presence in this place. Emily's eyes widened with understanding. That's why you were drawn here, Charlotte. You hold a connection to the animatronics and the previous owner's daughter. You're the missing piece of this puzzle. Samuel's voice resonated with a mix of curiosity and concern. But what does this mean for all of us? Can we harness this connection to put an end to the haunting of Hollow Grove? Henry's gaze settled on Charlotte, his voice filled with reassurance. We don't have all the answers yet, but we're in this together. We'll support you, Charlotte, and use our collective strength to confront the malevolent force and bring closure to this haunted park. A sense of determination enveloped the group as they shared their theories and contemplated the implications of their discoveries. They understood that the malevolent force's power stemmed from the rituals and the animatronics it had corrupted. If they could break that connection, they might have a chance at freeing Hollow Grove from its haunting grip. Armed with newfound knowledge and a glimmer of hope, Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte prepared themselves for the final confrontation. The hidden room had unveiled the dark past of Hollow Grove, igniting their resolve to confront the malevolent force head-on and put an end to the haunting that had plagued the park for far too long. Chapter 6 The Haunting Intensifies As the group ventured deeper into Hollow Grove, they couldn't shake the feeling that the malevolent force lurking within the park had grown stronger, its presence more palpable than ever before. Every step they took, every shadow that flickered, seemed to heighten their apprehension. Their journey through Hollow Grove had become a relentless battle against the twisted animatronics. Each encounter tested their courage and ingenuity as the animatronics employed new tactics and strategies to break their spirits. The haunting had intensified, becoming a relentless onslaught of fear and despair. Emily, her voice laced with determination, urged her companions forward. We can't let fear consume us. We've come too far to give up now. We need to stay focused and rely on each other. Samuel nodded, his eyes scanning their surroundings. Remember, these animatronics were once a source of joy and entertainment. Now they're twisted and corrupted by the malevolent force. We must find a way to break that connection and free them from its grasp. Henry's voice resonated with a mix of caution and resolve. We've seen their patterns, their vulnerabilities. Let's use that knowledge to outsmart them. We can turn their own tricks against them. With renewed determination, the group pressed on. Each encounter with a twisted animatronic tested their resilience, pushing them to their limits. The cunning and stealthy animatronic that had once lurked in the shadows now faced a barrage of clever traps and decoys. The relentless and aggressive animatronic that had chased them through the attractions now found itself evaded through calculated misdirection and agility. As they continued their harrowing journey, Emily couldn't help but reflect on the significance of their unity. We're stronger together, she declared. Each of us brings something unique to the table, and it's that collective strength that will see us through. Henry nodded, a sense of pride shining in his eyes. Indeed, our individual skills and knowledge combined create a powerful force against the malevolent presence. We're not just fighting for our own survival. We're fighting to save Hollow Grove from its haunting grip. Despite the mounting challenges, their bond grew stronger with each passing obstacle. They supported one another, lending a hand when needed, offering words of encouragement in moments of doubt. The haunting may have intensified, but so had their resilience. As the group faced their darkest fears and insecurities, they realized that the malevolent force was not just a physical threat, but also a psychological one. It preyed on their vulnerabilities, attempting to break their spirits and shatter their resolve. But together they found the strength to resist its insidious influence. Emily's voice echoed through the darkness, filled with unwavering determination. We won't let the haunting consume us. We'll confront our fears head-on, face the malevolent force with courage and unity. We will overcome. The group's shared experiences and unyielding support for one another had become their greatest weapon against the haunting of Hollow Grove. As they continued their battle against the twisted animatronics, they discovered that their unity not only protected them, but also served as a beacon of hope amidst the darkness. Chapter 7 The Tape's Revelation as they pushed forward, their resolve unshaken by the intensifying haunting, they knew that uncovering the truth about Hollow Grove required delving deeper into its dark past. The group's determination led them to a hidden chamber, 
where they discovered a collection of audio tapes left behind by the park's previous owner. Gathered around a worn-out tape player, Emily carefully inserted the first tape. The crackling sound filled the room as the voice of the park owner, filled with desperation, echoed through the speakers. I can't bear the loss anymore. My daughter, I need her back. I've delved into ancient rituals, merging animatronic technology with dark incantations. I will bring her back, no matter the cost. The group exchanged horrified glances as they listened to the tape. The park owner's voice crackled with a mixture of grief and madness, his obsession driving him to desperate measures. Each subsequent tape unveiled another layer of the haunting's origin, deepening their understanding of the malevolent force that plagued Hollow Grove. We've unleashed something dark, something beyond our control, the park owner's voice continued. The animatronics, they're more than just machines now. They're conduits for a malevolent force that seeks to consume us all. The group listened in stunned silence, their minds reeling with the implications of the owner's actions. The haunting they had witnessed was not merely the result of broken animatronics. It was a consequence of forbidden rituals and a desperate desire to cheat death. As the tapes progressed, they revealed the park owner's gradual descent into madness. The rituals he performed had unintended consequences, empowering the malevolent force and corrupting the animatronics, twisting them into horrifying creatures. The haunting of Hollow Grove was a direct result of his misguided attempts to bring his deceased daughter back to life. Henry's voice shook with a mix of anger and disbelief. This is unimaginable. The park owner's obsession and ignorance have cursed Hollow Grove. We must find a way to sever the connection between the malevolent force and the animatronics. Emily nodded, her voice filled with determination. We can't let his mistakes define the legacy of Hollow Grove. We need to put an end to this haunting and free the park from its grip. Samuel's eyes gleamed with newfound knowledge. But how do we break the connection? How do we banish the malevolent force once and for all? Charlotte's voice, though hesitant, held a spark of realization. I, uh, I think it has something to do with me, my connection to the animatronics, to the previous owner's daughter. Maybe I hold the key to severing their bond. Emily placed a comforting hand on Charlotte's shoulder. You've shown us time and again that your connection to Hollow Grove is unique. If anyone can help us, it's you. We'll support you every step of the way. The group contemplated their next move, aware that the final confrontation with the malevolent force was imminent. They had the knowledge, the resolve, and now a potential key to breaking the curse that held Hollow Grove captive. With the audio tapes as their guide, they began formulating a plan, ready to face the malevolent force head-on. Their shared experiences and the revelations from the tapes had forged an unbreakable bond, propelling them forward in their battle against the haunting of Hollow Grove. Chapter 8 The Heart of Darkness Armed with the revelations from the audio tapes and a newfound sense of purpose, they prepared to confront the malevolent force that had plagued Hollow Grove for far too long. They knew that their journey would lead them to the heart of darkness where the malevolent force resided and where the animatronics were under its control. As they ventured deeper into Hollow Grove, the air grew heavy with an oppressive darkness. The dilapidated attraction seemed to leer at them and the animatronics moved with a twisted, unnatural grace. It was clear that they were closing in on the heart of the haunting. With each step, the group could feel the malevolent force's presence grow stronger as if it sensed their approach. They exchanged determined glances, silently reminding each other of the strength they had found within themselves and their unity. As they reached the heart of Hollow Grove, a room shrouded in darkness, the malevolent force made its presence known. It took on a terrifying form, a swirling mass of darkness and malevolence that seemed to defy logic and reason. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, fixated on the intruders who dared challenge its reign. Emily's voice broke through the tension, her words steady and resolute. This ends here. We will break the curse that holds Hollow Grove captive and banish you from this place. The malevolent force let out an otherworldly scream, a cacophony of anger and desperation. The animatronics under its control surged forward, their twisted forms poised for an attack. But Emily, Henry, Samuel, and Charlotte stood their ground, ready to face their greatest challenge yet. Each member of the group drew upon their unique strengths. 
Henry used his knowledge of animatronic technology to identify weak points and vulnerabilities. Samuel called upon his understanding of the occult to counter the malevolent force's dark energy. Emily's quick thinking and leadership skills guided their every move. And Charlotte, in touch with the animatronics on a level no one else could comprehend, became their guiding light. The battle raged on, the clash between light and darkness reverberating through the room. The malevolent force unleashed its fury, attempting to manipulate their fears and weaknesses. But the group, fueled by their shared experiences and unyielding resolve, resisted its insidious influence. As the battle reached its climax, Emily's voice rang out, her words filled with defiance. You have no power over us. We've faced our fears, embraced our pasts, and found redemption. Your reign ends now. With a final surge of determination, the group launched their collective assault. Henry disabled the animatronics' control mechanisms, severing their connection to the malevolent force. Samuel chanted ancient incantations, channeling positive energy to counter the darkness. Emily and Charlotte used their quick reflexes and strategic thinking to exploit every weakness. In a burst of blinding light, the malevolent force let out a final scream, its power dwindling. The animatronics, freed from its grasp, fell silent, their once twisted forms returning to dormancy. A profound stillness settled over Hollow Grove as the malevolent force dissipated, vanquished by the group's unwavering determination and unity. The haunting that had plagued the park for years had finally come to an end. Exhausted but triumphant, Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte stood amidst the remnants of their battle. They shared a knowing glance, a silent acknowledgement of the courage and strength they had found within themselves and each other. The survivors took a moment to breathe to absorb the weight of their victory and the closure they had brought to Hollow Grove. They knew that their lives would never be the same, forever changed by the horrors they had faced and overcome. As they made their way out of the heart of darkness, a newfound sense of peace settled upon Hollow Grove. The park, once plagued by malevolence and despair, now stood as a testament to the power of unity, redemption, and the triumph of light over darkness. Chapter 9 Aftermath and Reflection As the group emerged from the heart of darkness, they were greeted by a transformed hollow grove. The once desolate park now exuded an aura of serenity and peace. The animatronics stood motionless, no longer twisted and corrupted, but instead reminiscent of the joy they had once brought to visitors. Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte stood in awe, their hearts filled with a mixture of relief and awe. They had succeeded in their mission to free Hollow Grove from its haunting grip, to break the curse that had held the park captive for so long. Taking a moment to catch their breath, the group ventured through the park, their steps now lighter, their spirits lifted. They marveled at the restored attractions, the sound of laughter and happiness echoing in their ears. It was as if Hollow Grove had been given a new lease on life, free from the shackles of its dark past. Gathered in the park's central plaza, Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte found solace in each other's company. They sat on a bench, their faces illuminated by the warm glow of the setting sun, reflecting on the journey they had undertaken and the growth they had experienced along the way. Henry spoke first, his voice tinged with gratitude. I never thought we would find redemption within these walls, but through our unity and determination we have overcome the haunting and in turn found a sense of redemption within ourselves. Samuel nodded, his eyes filled with a sense of awe. Our journey has taught me the power of facing our pasts and embracing the light within us. Hollow Grove will forever serve as a reminder that even in the face of darkness there is always hope. Emily smiled, a sense of accomplishment radiating from her. We may have started this journey seeking the truth, but we found so much more. We found strength in each other, support in the face of adversity, and the courage to confront our deepest fears. Charlotte, who had been quiet throughout their reflection, finally spoke up. I never imagined that my connection to Hollow Grove would lead to this, but now I understand that it was meant to be. I played a part in breaking the curse, and I'm grateful for the role I played. The group sat in companionable silence, the weight of their shared experiences and the memories of their harrowing journey settling upon them. They knew that their lives would forever be intertwined, bonded by the haunting of Hollow Grove and the redemption they had found within its depths. As they prepared to part ways, their individual paths diverging once more, 
They carried with them the lessons learned and the strength they had discovered within themselves and each other. They knew that they would forever be connected by their shared experiences, by the unbreakable bond forged in the face of darkness. Hollow Grove would forever hold a special place in their hearts, a testament to their resilience and the power of unity. The park's haunting story would serve as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the dangers of unchecked obsession and the redemption that can be found in facing one's past. With one final embrace, the group bid farewell to Hollow Grove, forever changed by the haunting they had endured and the triumph they had achieved. They walked away, their hearts lighter, their spirits lifted, ready to embark on new adventures, forever carrying the memories of their time in Hollow Grove. Chapter 10 A New Beginning In the aftermath of their journey through Hollow Grove, the group returned to their respective lives, forever changed by the haunting they had faced together. Each of them carried with them a renewed sense of purpose, a deeper understanding of themselves and the bonds of friendship forged in the crucible of their shared experiences. Emily, driven by her passion for uncovering the truth, wrote a comprehensive article detailing the dark history of Hollow Grove and the group's harrowing journey. The article served as a cautionary tale, a reminder to others of the dangers lurking beneath the surface and the importance of unity and redemption in the face of darkness. Henry, no longer haunted by his past experiences at Hollow Grove, found solace in his newfound expertise in animatronic technology. He dedicated himself to restoring and repurposing animatronics, using his skills to bring joy and happiness to others, mending the damage caused by the malevolent force. Samuel, fueled by his fascination with the supernatural, continued his research into the occult, determined to understand the forces that had plagued Hollow Grove. He became a renowned expert, sharing his knowledge and helping others navigate the darkness that exists in the world. Charlotte, having embraced her unique connection to Hollow Grove, sought to use her experiences to help others. She became an advocate for mental health, using her story as a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of seeking help when faced with inner demons. Despite their separate paths, the group maintained a strong bond, frequently meeting to reminisce about their time in Hollow Grove and the lessons they had learned. Their friendship became a constant source of support and inspiration, a reminder of the strength they had found within themselves and each other. Hollow Grove, forever changed by their efforts, became a symbol of redemption and hope. The park remained closed, its haunting past a distant memory. Instead, it served as a reminder of the power of unity and the triumph of light over darkness. As the years passed, the story of forgotten whispers, the haunting of Hollow Grove spread, captivating the imaginations of many. Hollow Grove became a cautionary tale, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, and a reminder that redemption and closure can be found even in the darkest of places. The group's journey through Hollow Grove had been a turning point in their lives, a transformative experience that shaped their future endeavors. They embarked on new adventures, faced new challenges, and carried the lessons learned in Hollow Grove as a guiding light. Their story inspired others to confront their own fears, to seek redemption and to cherish the bonds of friendship. Hollow Grove once a place of darkness and despair, now held the promise of a new beginning forever etched in the memories of those who had braved its haunting depths. And as Emily, Henry, Samuel and Charlotte looked back on their time in Hollow Grove, they were filled with a sense of pride and gratitude. They had faced the malevolent force together, emerged stronger and wiser, and forever left their mark on the forgotten whispers of Hollow Grove. With a renewed sense of purpose and a shared sense of hope, they embraced the future, ready to embark on new adventures, forever united by their unforgettable journey through the haunting of Hollow Grove.